I'd like to introduce Greg Epstein. Let's pick another obscure vertical and talk about what's important or what to look out for. Powder blending. Powder blending? Powder blending equipment is very, very popular. Powder blending is anything from... Um, and there are four or five different ways you can blend powders. But most of uh, the process world, the chemical, the pharma world, even the food world, at some point in the process, um, you have dry product, powder product. What do you do with it? How do you mix that together? Um, you, well, if you're not mixing dry into wet, which is a mixed tank, you're just mixing two dry products, there are three or four different methods that you can use. All of them involve tumbling. Um, one's a, a ribbon or a paddle blender where you have a stationary tank and you have a, a horizontal shaft that's just mixing and mixing like and this. mixing and mixing. Right. Going like this, okay, and fluffing. That's one type of mixing. A uh, different type of mixer is you you put different products into a large blender that's a V. And the whole blender rotates around um, and you... I call, those, I call those pant leg blenders. Is, is that jargon that I should use or is that accurate? I think that's Buffalo specific. Oh, Dave. come on uh, now. A V leg okay. blender, a V blender, a pant v leg blenders. blender. V, v blenders, blenders, twin shell blenders. How about a, blenders. And, and it's almost like a Kleenex. We used to call them PK blenders for Patterson Well, Kelly. actually it's funny. And PK still makes them. Patterson Kelly, uh, the V blenders are, we are for years, you're right, we call PK blenders. But I, I'm going to call them pant leg blenders. But they're still very popular. They are. Um, and you see them across industries. You see them in pharma, you see them in food, you see them in chemical. Um, and because they're, 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 their beauty is their simplicity. There's nothing that really can go wrong. Basically, you have a V in that situation of a, of a V blender, or you have a horizontal shaft with a helix around it on the, in, the, in the case of a ribbon blender. And it just rotates at a fairly slow speed. And just blends products according to uh, blends powders according to a recipe or a certain time period. You put two powders in, and you, at the end of four minutes of blending, you open up the discharge chute and you have one new blended product out. And the green clovers and the purple hearts are all mixed in with the rest. The Lucky Charms get mixed in with yeah. with, with the cereal. That's actually a great way to um, to to visualize it. I never thought about that. Or the raisins in the raisin bread. I tell you, well what. done. Yeah. Um, but that's exactly what it does, and it, it, it's supposed to give you universal dispersion of certain products within powders. Right is the, the technical term, um, and everybody uses them. And so because of because. They are able to be repurposed across several different industries. Um, powder blenders uh, have a um, have, have a high resale value um, at auction or, or through the dealer network. They hold their value well. They hold their value very well. Um, everybody uses them, and they're 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 not a lot of moving parts, which means that that, that there's not a lot of things that could have gone wrong, and they are um, and they're easy to move. So. Um, and they're easy to repurpose. So powder blenders um, are probably, after reactors, well, after tanks and then reactors, uh, powder blenders are probably our third largest category, in, you know, in, in, in the type of product. Um, because everybody, everybody that's in the process world, almost everybody uses them. And they can be stainless, they can be carbon, they can be, are there any glass line Ribbon there, are glass, there are there are glass lined. Um, if you take a, a, a tumbling blender and put a jacket on it, then they they which which you can do sometimes because you can dry in these as well. There are these these blenders that that can have heating elements or cooling elements attached to the outside, and while they're blending, they're also being heated, which is drying them, driving off water. You see those sometimes glass lined, not that often. Glass lines are very popular because okay? right. there aren't that many out there on the secondary market because they don't come on the market very often. They get snatched up pretty quick. Vintage cars. Good information. Talking with Greg Epstein, president and CEO of Perry Vidax. Greg, thanks for your time today. Thanks for having me, Dave.